Hello everyone, Ben here at Pixel Portable. I'm going to help you as best I can install Onion OS on the Miu Mini. I'm only doing this because it was requested. You can't expect tech videos like this from me in the future. Firstly, you're going to need a different micro SD card over the stock one that came with the device because it's awful and will only make you sad. Now that you have your new SD and your old one, we're going to pop that disgusting old SD into your PC. Now that the old SD is on your PC, let's open it up and copy the ROMs folder, assuming that you want the ones that you have. And then we'll make a new folder called Backup, and we'll stash these here. And you're just going to have to wait for them to transfer, and it's going to take a while. Now you do it! Pause the video, do it! Now on the old SD card we will go to the RetroArch folder and then .RetroArch folder and we're going to copy the entire folder named System. We're backing this up because it's also the BIOS files and you basically need them to run the different emulators. Copying these files will take around one to two ice ages, so good luck with that. Alright, now do it. You do it. Do the thing. Now you've backed up your system folder, it's time to go back into RetroArch, then .RetroArch folder again, and this time we'll be copying the files saves and states. Uh, you could ignore this if you have no saves or states that you want to take over. Just copy them into the backup folder as well with the other things. Alright, your turn. You do it. Do it. Now we don't need that old SD anymore. Probably best to keep it somewhere safe, but I fucking hate this piece of shit card, so it gets all of my rage. Next, we're formatting the new SD card. So, put that into the PC, right click on it, and click Format. Make sure it's set to FAT32, it's the formatting type that you're going to need to make sure that this works. Alright, now you do it. Format that card. So, this next step requires us to get the new Onion OS from their website. Link is in the description. Click the download latest release here. After you've clicked that, scroll down to the assets section and download the onion.v3.9.1 zip and wait for it to finish, or whatever version they're on when you look at this video. Now you do it. Download it. Do it. Let's move that zip file from downloads to our desktop and extract the files. Once extracted, we will open the file, click onion.v3.9.1, and then we'll see a folder that we need. Now we just copy that folder, .tmp update, onto the formatted SD card. That SD card should now only have one item on it, that copied folder.
Now you do it. Do it. Copy it. Next, we eject that formatted micro SD card with the file on it that we just put on, and we put it into the MiU Mini, but make sure that, that MiU Mini is fully charged and turn it on. If the MiU Mini runs out of battery during the process, you will likely break the device. You'll know it's all worked if you see the V3 Edition splash screen. This can take a few minutes, so don't panic. Once installed, you can choose what emulators and apps to install. Just click on them to add the green tick. And don't worry, you can adjust this later if you make a mistake. Now you do it! Do it! Okay, lastly we're going to turn off the Mii Mini and take the card out and put it back into the PC. First open that backed up system folder, select everything inside and copy it into the BIOS folder on your Mii Mini. Then place any backed up ROMs into the ROMs folder of the SD card's root. After that, we will copy the saves and states folders into the new card. The folder is retroarch.retroarch .retroarch, and slap those folders in there, replacing whatever's existing. Now you do it. Do it! Okay, that's it. If you followed these steps, you should now have a working Onion OS updated MiU Mini, and the games and saves that you had are copied over and should all be functioning. Like I said, you can't expect more videos like this from me. This is out of my wheelhouse, but I had some requests and I felt like I was capable to solve that problem. Thank you very much for watching.